Thank you, Patty. The freezing temperature is also taking a toll on the city's homeless. Many searching for a warm place to stay, and shelters are seeing some huge crowds. As the night team's Bill Barajas explains, one church just west of downtown is opening its doors and answering the call for help. We still have room, but it's the first 40. So I'm at, I'm at 16 already. A call to action spread by word of mouth. Hey, man, we're taking in people, bro, at our church at 6 o'clock. If you need a place to sleep tonight, you've been there before, right? Pastor Alex Fleming doesn't mind well, braving the cold you know, if it means corridor, preaching the word of God and helping out. those in need. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Dude, we're going to have a sleeping bag when you get in there. We're going to have hamburgers when you get in there. We're going to have coffee when you get in there. We're going to have hot chocolate when you get in there. The Life Restored Church may be small in size, but it's huge when it comes to its desire to make a difference. Some say without them, they would have nowhere to go. Under bridge. Yeah, I stayed there last night, man. It got pretty wet. Like, all my, all my stuff got wet, man. So I'm not trying to stay there tonight. And as you can see, the line is already forming. And it's not even 6 o'clock yet. The Life Restored Church will take in 40 people tonight. But they tell us they wish they could do much, much more. Once inside, the lucky few are served. Smiles and appreciation seen throughout the room. I can't see being a Christian, uh, more or less a pastor, without doing this. You know, to me, that, that, that doesn't jive together. You know, um, yeah, you know, it's like I said earlier, you know, when the Lord asked me, what would Jesus do if he had your building? He wouldn't be satisfied with three Sunday services and a midweek service. So we want to we wanna do what Jesus, what I think Jesus would do if he owned this building. Bill Barajas, KSAT 12 News. And that church shelter is full tonight. Those inside will also be given a warm meal tomorrow morning. The Life Restored Church runs on donations. If anyone would like to help, you can visit our website, KSAT.com, to find out how.